Hope you're having a wonderful day. Kind of laid up for the moment. Hang on a second. Let me check real quick. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can't tell if this thing's even on. Um, but yeah. Back just being a pain in the ass. It happens. Once you break it, man, it goes out on me every once in a while. It's been pretty hard lately. Stress, I don't know. So I have to take it easy for a minute. So I'm laying here in Dharma and I just. You know, and it's Memorial Day, and everybody's packing up and leaving, and for the weekend and going back to their homes. And I just thought about my situation being a nomad permanently, and you know, have been most of my life without really realizing it. But yeah, I've never really had a stable home or environment, so I've always been moved around. So maybe it's just natural for me. Maybe it's just my natural habitat who knows but yeah all these people going home and by tonight i'll be by myself maybe one other camper and there's a lot of campgrounds so it's kind of interesting and that's usually how it's been for the last seven months you know it's a little saddening i don't know it's weird but i could care less about them i don't know but you know not personally but or to be mean but it's just a lot of times people are toxic and alcohol and they drink and they're obnoxious and a lot of low vibration people still they just you know this whole shut down and weirdness it didn't affect them the great awakening didn't touch them so they're just back to normal you know low vibration thinking but um the interesting thing was i brought up the childhood stuff for me like when i was a kid i had free reign when i was my parents were divorced when i was five so and I lived with my mother because my she didn't want my ass. My dad would. She was very aloof, though, very distant. So she wasn't a bad person, just a roommate. And worked selling cars or hustling other stuff in the daytime and then gambled all night. So she was sleeping whenever I saw her. Um, but, yeah, so I had free reign. I was like, I could be running around at 2 o'clock in the morning, middle of the night, not you know, not think twice about it, and my friends would be playing with me, and then it'd get dark, and they'd be like, oh, I need to go home for, you know, my parents don't have to worry, and I'm like, okay, and then i just keep playing in the dark, you know, I mean, I'd have a friend that could sneak out every once in a while, we'd go play in the, along the river, to play army and stuff like that, and just, like, we're in Vietnam, it's cool, being kids, but I understood you had to, you, I, I understood as a kid that it was probably not wise that people see at night, because you never know how people kid protect yourself so I was always like ninja around at night <clears throat> but anyway so yeah just a kind of interesting thought about that and everybody's leaving and I'm still here and it's a good thing for me I, don't know. I like I like my life I'm very blessed at the moment and, you know my back thing is but that's just what it is right it's just part of my lessons in life and what I've had to go through and it is what it is if that's the worst of it then I'll take it the other childhood things came up too, like ditching Bobby. That was a thing they used to do when I was a kid, all my cousins and my brothers and sisters, because I was the youngest. So they'd make a game out of ditching me. And it was a beautiful ranch my grandfather, my grandparents had. Um, it was called Oak View, and it was in Watsonville. They had apples and, you know, blackberries and stuff like that. It was next to a golf course. And I used to, I used to pretend I was sick at school a lot when I was little. And my grandpa would have to come get me because they were emergency contacts. And I had to magically get better as, you know, as the day, you know, I'd end up on the track dragging on my grandpa. So, you know, he didn't care. He was cool. But, yeah, it was funny because when they would play Ditch Bobby, um, I could care. Right? I was like, hey, whatever. I'd, I'd get into it for a minute and get bored, just walk around, look at the cows and just stuff. I'd come across one of them, and they'd scream and run, thinking I was, like, actually giving a shit, which I wasn't, so, you know, it's what it was, but, you know, fun childhood, man, things I used to think about, too, it was weird, because I, I knew I had some military background in past lives, because I'd sit there, look at landscape, and see hillsides, all into valleys, and go, okay, that's good, that's a good placement for cannons and stuff, the high ground, or, 
was like weird. Just weird thoughts would come to my head as a kid. So I'm like, well, that's strange. You know, I don't know where that came from, but okay. You know, you're a little kid, right? But um, I don't know. I believe in past lives. But yeah. I had a fun childhood, though. It was trying. You know, you have two divorced parents and they're both struggling, find their own way. And they're not really high vibration individuals, very low vibration, very fuck fire personal gratification so I wasn't a consideration I wasn't a main consideration I was a tennis ball to be thrown back and forth I was always a troubled child I can't handle Bobby you go, you take him that kind of thing but in the 10 years that I went to public school I went to eight different schools so if that doesn't tell you I'm not a military brat I'm just had parents that moved around a lot and I was tossed around a lot and it's what it is right I'm who I am because of all the experience I've been through so I'm not complaining no victimhood here I'm blessed thank you universe thank you God I love you and I love all of you out there and I hope everybody's doing good and a lot of my readers all my empaths are drained from the eclipse and the the blood moon and yeah it's it, there's a serious energy shift and I felt it for me it was the best because it was that the shift broke my bonds. Like I said, I was tied to somebody for a long time, and there was a, it was more than just me and them, but it was it was really painful years. And yeah, the first time in a long time I felt like flirting with somebody. It was amazing. She's so amazing. She's funny too. She's really funny. She's a goddess. But who knows? I don't. I have no expectations. I'm just very. I'm just surprised that I actually decide to flirt with somebody because I never do that I just don't I don't try to dry, bring anybody into my pain or yeah into my healing which is what it is I need to heal and just feel healing but I sure I'm looking forward to that next love boy because it's going to be special because I didn't wait this long for nothing I'm no sucker I'm not gonna I'm not gonna punk out last minute I'm all in I'm gonna get I'm gonna fall in love and I'm gonna get married and that's gonna be the end of it so it should always be. Anyway. Enough rambling from Bobby, right? Okay, well, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Hope everybody's doing and feeling great. And, yeah, be strong for me and I'll be strong for you. And wish me luck on my back. And <laughs> uh, You never know. Anyway, love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.